Hey guys, Packer Rules, before I officially get into this rant, I just want to let you know um, a little bit of news. Um, so, a few of my videos have been offered up for revenue sharing with YouTube, but I can't actually submit them because, well, they use copyrighted material. So from now on, all of my rants are going to be either just pure solid color, uh, orange for Nickelodeon rants, or black or white for Cartoon Network rants, or whatever. I apologize to do this, but you guys don't watch my rants to actually watch anything physically, so you really do it to just listen to me. I mean, if I need to use something as a visual aid, then I will use it, but um, I'm going to try doing this just in the hopes that I maybe can get some revenue sharing out of this, and if I can get revenue sharing, then I'll make a lot more of these. So it's good for all of us. Alright, on to the real rant. So the other day I was checking out my subscriptions on YouTube, and I, of course, came across a few of them from 90s Cartoon Network, a few classic Cartoon Network promos, and I watched them, and uh, there's one in particular that actually inspired me to make this rant. Now, if you'd like to see the video, th there's a link in the description. And so, yeah. So, what this video was, was apparently Cartoon Network, a while back, back when they were good, um, did a top 10 or sometimes top 100, the top something list of the greatest cartoons of all time. And um, it showed a bunch of classic cartoons, you know, um, like 60s stuff. And um, and so I, I was watching it, and in the bumpers for this marathon, it was um, Barbera, co-creator fan of Barbera, um, he actually like came out and spoke about these cartoons, telling like interesting facts. But I thought to myself, would these facts really interest someone that's like seven? Um, and then I thought to myself, Cartoon Network didn't used to have a demographic. It was just a network for cartoons. Sure, kids like cartoons mostly, but if you grew up watching these cartoons and you wanted to watch them, this was a network for you. It didn't discriminate. It was a cartoon network. It wasn't any sort of, it wasn't branding towards anyone. It was showing cartoons on the network. Of course, the majority of them is going to be, the viewers are going to be kids, but it could aim towards anyone who liked cartoons. Now, take it to today and look at it. Look how many classics are actually on the network anymore. Um, I heard Looney Tunes was back on, not sure if that got off again, but um, I know that there aren't hardly any, and I know there's Boomerang, the sister network, and that's okay. That's a great network, and I'm actually getting that now. I know I said in rant long ago I wasn't getting it. Well, I'm finally getting it. So, um, that's good. So anyway, um, Cartoon Network used to be pretty much an all-ages thing. But nowadays, the new cartoons they make are, like, strictly geared towards the younger audience. Like, not even towards my age audience. Not, not towards the teenagers. Towards the, what is it, 7 to 12 demographic, or 11 to 14, something like that. And it's got it's got to be one of the reasons that Cartoon Network has been having such a downfall because it's not necessarily a cartoon network anymore. It's a network for children's programming, and we've seen this in the fact that they started showing things that aren't cartoons, and um, and that's what's kind of sad. So I came across this. I I just kind of thought of this, and it makes sense, doesn't it? that um, it used to be a network for just anyone who liked cartoons, and nowadays it's it's a children's network. And, I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with it being a children's network, except it's missing out on a big demographic. And Boomerang's nice, but it's it, it doesn't have the appeal to... And it's not showing kids the older cartoons, too. Um, which is the really sad part, because... Not only was it a great place for the older generations to see these cartoons, but it was a great place for the younger generations to see them, in addition to having newer cartoons mixed in with there. Um, originally, cartoon cartoons only aired at a certain time, like they weren't mixed all throughout the day. They were just like a specific block, and not just Cartoon Cartoon Fridays, but they were a specific block, and everything else was just old cartoons. And so... It's almost sad to see how much faith they've put in just the newer stuff. And I gotta tell you, the newer stuff isn't really too good. So that's about it. I, I didn't really have too much to say here. But I wanted to, um, to just kind of throw that idea out there. And maybe 
it's not just about bringing back, just kind of explaining why bringing back the classics would be such a good idea for Cartoon Network. And I, I do hear they have been doing somewhat of this, but definitely not as much as they used to. And they're definitely putting heavy emphasis on very child-friendly shows. Not like, not even like Dexter's Laboratory. Now, Dexter's Laboratory was a show you could watch with anyone. It, it was an all, all ages show. Of course, it was geared a little bit towards the younger audience, but it had humor in there that anyone could enjoy. It was rated G for general audience instead of Y for youth, because it was targeted. It, it, it was, it's pretty much the newest Hanna Barbera cartoon out there. I, I mean, it, it was, it was pretty much a Hanna Barbera cartoon. It was. Like, the older style just modernized a little bit so anyone could enjoy it. Nowadays, cartoons are just marketed towards the kids. And there's nothing wrong with having cartoons that are marketed towards kids. But when that's all you have, you are you could have such a wider demographic when you don't. And that's really sad. So, uh, I thought I'd let you guys think about that. So, leave your comments in the box below. And, um, hey, I'll see you in whatever the next rant is. Pirate Rules, out. Oh, sorry I wasn't too angry in this one. I'm in kind of a mellow mood. <laughs> Pyro rolls out.